Welcome to my world Won't you come on in Hey guys, it's your girl Yum Yum and I'm coming to you live from the spot. Welcome to Yum's world. I'm so glad you're here. If you saw my last video, thank you for liking, subscribing, leaving a comment and sharing the video. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. So uh, I talked a little bit in my, about my in my last video how uh, God has just been pushing me and nudging me in, in, in different ways to, to get this off the ground. So that's why I'm here today. And shout out to my husband who's also been pushing me for months to really do this. Um, we're finally here, so thank God for that. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about what I mentioned in my first video, a recent testimony that God did, um, and I really am super excited, so stay tuned. So I recently gave birth to my second child, uh, and it was a, a wonder, wonderful testimony how it all happened, but I really can't complete that testimony without sharing the story about how my first daughter was born. So when I first got pregnant with my first daughter, I was super excited. I was very excited. I didn't know what to expect exactly, but I did have a few reference points. My mom had had all of her children naturally, and there's a lot of us, and my older sisters also had their children naturally. So I felt like it ran in the family, and I felt like, well, obviously, naturally, I'm going to have my baby naturally. <laughs> and so I, um, I just kind of was pretty confident in that. In addition to that expectation, I had a very strong and overwhelming desire to ensure that, you know, at all costs, that I had this child naturally. So from that point, I started making some changes. Immediately, I changed my diet. I started to exercise more. I started to pray intentionally about the pregnancy and about the childbirth. I started taking childbirth classes. I even changed my care in the middle of the pregnancy um, and switched to a birth center instead of a hospital because I really felt that that was gonna give me the best chance at having this child naturally. Um, in addition, I was watching YouTube channels and I saw this YouTube video where somebody referenced this book called Supernatural Childbirth. And in this book, uh, the author basically chronicles her experience about having children. And she had kind of a traumatic first childbirth experience and so after that she made some changes. Now she attributes all the rest of her children's childbirths, which were very easy, painless, and very quick, I'm talking like 10 minutes here, um, she attributes them to some things that she was doing, um, some of which included basically confessing these particular scriptures over herself, over her pregnancy, and over the childbirth, um, one of which is Galatians 3.13. Galatians 3.13 says, I am re we have been redeemed from the curse of the law. And um, just to give a, a little bit of context about that, so initially in Genesis, after Adam and Eve eat of the forbidden fruit, God places a curse. And for the woman, he says, it's going to be in pain that uh, you will deliver your children. And so um, she argues, though, that, you know, Christ, the, the finished work of the cross, um, you know, basically kind of negates that and, you know, that scripture backs it up by saying we've been redeemed from the curse of the law, so we no longer have to operate under that so we can have painless, easy, quick childbirth experiences. And so she, that's kind of her methodology. She has several testimonials of women who also used her, uh, read her book and used her methodology and had successful outcomes. And so when I heard that, and when I saw that, I'm like, okay, this is perfect. This is exactly what I want and exactly what I need. This is gonna you know, help me to position myself for, for the goal that I wanted to achieve. So um, after doing all of that, I was feeling pretty confident. In addition, my pregnancy was going very well. I really had no issues at all. The only thing I experienced was a little bit of morning sickness in my first trimester, and in the middle of the second trimester towards the end, uh, I was having heartburn, but really, other than that, my, my pregnancy was pretty easy. I wasn't slowed down in any way. I pretty much kept doing everything that I had been doing previously. And so I was pretty, feeling pretty bold and pretty confident. And as I marched ahead towards my due date, I was, you know, I was pretty sure of, of what my outcome was going to be. Um, and really what I wanted was a, a painless, uh, easy, quick, delivery with no intervention, no medical intervention, no medication, and of course, no tearing, 
Um, and so this is what I wanted. This is what I prayed for. This is what I confessed using those scriptures and things like that. Uh, spoiler alert, that did not happen. <laughs> I pretty much got the very opposite of everything I wanted. And I was pretty devastated by that. Um, you know, being the wife of a pastor and, you know, all the prayers that we had been praying together, the confessions, the prayer walks, and all kinds of things that we had been doing together, you know, concerning the pregnancy, I was pretty devastated and pretty sad about, you know, the, the eventual outcome. Uh, but I'll talk about in my next video exactly how it all went down. So stay tuned. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section, and share the video. Until the next episode. Well, well, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. Whatever's in store for me, it's gonna be nice.